Hey guys, today we're going to show you some more examples of spammy domains. In this particular tutorial, we will be going over site-wide links. Okay, let's go over to Majestic SEO and take a look at this domain. Alright, so now we're on the Majestic SEO and we're looking at what appears to be an old law firm domain. This domain has a TF of 16 and a citation flow of 23, which is pretty good. It also has a decent DA of 14 and a PA of 27. However, there is a big problem with this domain. If you will notice, this domain has a big gap between the referring domain and the total amount of backlinks. It has approximately 8,500 backlinks with only one referring domain, which would highly indicate a spammy link profile. These are just too many backlinks to only one domain, which diminishes SEO returns and causes a big spam footprint. Now let's take a quick look at the referring domain. All the backlinks seem to be coming from this domain. Now let's see where some of these backlinks are coming from. Also note, Majestic will only show us the first top 10 backlinks, even though we know there are over 8,500. Let's click on the first link. Now let's look for the WattsLawFirm.net link on this page. Found it. It's in the sidebar on the right. Now let's go back and check the second link. It's also on the sidebar, which tells me the link is most likely in all 8500 inner pages on that site. Again, a huge spam footprint. Now let's go check out another domain. Again, we're on the Majestic SEO page, and this time we're looking at what appears to be a dentist expired domain. Again, the total number of links to the referring number of domains is way off, which is a bit worrying. Let's take a more detailed look at this domain. Again, as before, click on the referring domains link. As you can see here, there are only three referring domains that are pointing to the expired domain. And the first domain has a majority of the links pointing to the expired domain. Let's check out those backlinks. Let's click on the first link. In order to find that link, we have to search for the anchor text. If you remember, it's called dentistsofwestwood.com. Let's search for it. Okay, found it. You can see it's located down here on the footer area. Now let's go back and check a couple of more links. Click on the second link. Look for the anchor text. Again, it's down here on the footer. Go back. Let's do one more. Let's rinse and repeat. Again, it's located here on the footer. Okay, we can now see that all 9,000 plus links are coming from only one referring domain which again raises a big red flag and can possibly cause this domain to get de-indexed with Google. Which brings us to the next question. Are all site-wide links all bad? No. If done right, as shown in the previous examples, that there is not a huge gap between the number of total links to referring domains, and if the anchor texts are not exact match keywords, and if the links are relevant with a reasonable amount per page, then in most cases it should be fine. Next, what I'm about to show you is a more natural looking backlink profile. Let's go check it out. We are now back at the Majestic SEO site. In this example, let's take a look at ocregistered.com, which is a newspaper company. You can see that it has a healthy ratio of total number of backlinks 
to the total number of referring domains. I try to shoot for a ratio of 20 backlinks to every one referring domain, but your mileage will vary. You will also notice the Tropical Trust Flow. It also mentions news and newspaper and media industry as topics, which is a great indication on overall topic and is relevant to the domain. Now let's take a deeper look at the referring domains. You can see that this has a more natural number of referring domains to the number of backlinks. You will also notice that a good number of the domains are relevant to the site. Now that you have a better understanding of what site-wide links are and how to spam check them, you should have a better idea on how to filter out quality domains. Thank you for watching the site-wide tutorial, and we hope to see you on the next video.